yesterday my telugu sisters and brothers celebrated the festival of bhogi friends in the northern part of india especially punjab mark lohri today is makar sankranti in gujarat the sky is full of kites on this day which is also known as uttrayan the people of assam are celebrating mag bihu and in tamil nadu where you are it is pongal pongal is the festival of thankfulness thanking the sun god thanking the animals that help in agriculture and thanking nature for providing the natural resources that sustain us harmony with nature is the strength of culture our traditions from north to south east to west we can see how there is a festive spirit across the nation festivals are celebrations of life with festivals comes a spirit of togetherness they weave a beautiful thread of unity my greetings to people across india on all these festivals makar sankranti marks the transition of the sun into zodiac sign of makar rishi rashi on its celestial path for most people makar sankranti means a break from the harrowing winter and warmer brighter days some of the festivals we celebrate today are harvest festivals we pray that these festivals bring prosperity and joy in the lives of our farmers who work hard to keep our nation fed friends i wish i could be present with you in person but the exigencies of work did not so permit i pay my tribute to my dear friend sri cho on the 47th anniversary of tugluk in the passing away of cho we all have lost a friend who offered his invaluable wisdom to who ever came his way i knew him personally for many years it is a personal loss for me he was one of the most multifaceted personalities i have ever come across he was an actor a director a journalist an editor a writer a playwright a politician a political commentator a cultural critic a highly talented writer a religious and social critic a lawyer and so much more of all this his roles his role as the editor of the tugluk magazine 
was the jewel in the crown. For 47 years, the Tughlaq magazine played a stellar role in the cause of safeguarding democratic values and national interests. Tughlaq and Cho, it is difficult to imagine one without the other. For nearly five decades, he was in charge of Tughlaq. If someone had to write the political history of India, he cannot write it without including Cho Ravam Swami and his political commentary. It is easy to admire Cho, but it is not very easy to understand Cho. To understand him, one need to understand his courage, his conviction, his sense of nationalism, which went beyond parochial, regional, linguistic, and other divisions. His greatest achievement is that he made Tughlaq a weapon against all divisive forces. He was fighting for a clean and non-corrupt political system. In that struggle, he never spared anyone. He was critical of those people with whom he had acted for decades. Critical of those people who were friends with him for decades. Critical of those people who consider him as his mentor. None was spared. He did not look at the personalities, but look at the issues. The nation was his central message. This is reflected in his writing, in the movies, plays, and television serials he directed. His satire made his criticism lovable even to those he criticized. That is the, not a cultivated of cultivatable virtue. That was a gift from the divine to him, which he used only to promote public interest. It was his gift also to communicate ideas in one cartoon or in one sentence, which a book or a volumes of books could not. Made by Cho's vision and commitment will be a big challenge. Adherence to this vision will be a great service to the people of Tamil Nadu. I wish Mr. Guru Murthy and his team all the very best in this endeavor. Knowing Guru Murthy ji, I am confident that he will be successful. That Cho had mastered the art of satire, humor, and irony need not be overstated. I think we need more satire and humor. Humor brings happiness in our lives. Humor is the best, the power of a smile or the power of laughter is more than the power of abuse or any other weapon. Humor builds bridges instead of breaking them. And this is exactly 
what we require today building bridges bridges between people bridges between communities bridges between societies humor brings human creativity we are living in an age where one speech or one event can create multiple memes forwards friends i have participated in tuglaks annual readers meet before in person in chennai since you have a tradition at this event to play verses from the shrimad bhagavad gita in mr cho's voice let me end with a shlok in mr cho's honor vasansi jirnani yatha vihaya navani grhnati naro aparirani tatha शरीराणि विहाय जीर्णान्य यानी संयति नवनीह देही द इटर्नल डज नॉट मूव फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस बट मूव्स फ्रॉम वन अबाउट टू अनदर लेट अस टुगेदर थैंक हिम फॉर हिज कंट्रीब्यूशन टू द मल्टीपल ही टच अब ऑल लेट अस थैंक हिम फॉर द बीइंग the great cho ramaswami the one and only cho thank you vanakkam on behalf of all of us here i thank the honorable prime minister of india